Well, hello everyone, it's Friday and I can't believe it's Friday again. I think the weeks are actually going quite quickly, but you might have a different opinion. And last Friday, I launched the first Star Pupil quiz because at Star Pupil, Fridays are about finding things out, but they're also about having fun. And I really appreciated all the lovely feedback I had from, from the first quiz. I know lots of you had a go just at home on your own, but some of you did it with your families. And I know the grown-ups as well had a go. So well done if you took part in that. And well done if you did scored really highly, but also if you found some things out so you learned something new. So that the next time that question comes up, whether it's in a quiz or in a class or just chatting to your friends or your family, you'll know the answer. So again today, I've got 20 questions, different categories. So sort of general knowledge, um, nature, history, geography, science, etc. And I've also got a few picture questions this time as well and a music question. So just so a bit of variety. So what you might want to do now is you might want to get a pad and a pen. Um, or but, but however you decide to do this is entirely up to you. As I said last week, it's not a competition. It's not about who knows the most. It's about expanding our knowledge and sharing our knowledge. So here we go. I'll start now with question one. And this is a nature and a geography question. In which country would you find kangaroos, koalas and wombats? So in which country would you find kangaroos, koalas and wombats? And the next question is the first picture question. And I'm going to show you a flag. And the question is, which country is this the flag for? So can you see that there? So which country is this the flag of? Okay. The next question is about science and nature. What is the name given to trees which shed their leaves in the autumn? What is the name given to trees which shed their leaves in the autumn? The next question is a history question. What is the name of the famous ship which sank on the 10th of April 1912? What is the name of the famous ship which sank on the 10th of April 1912? And the next question is about sport. In athletics, what is the name for a race in which four runners each take turns passing a baton to the next person to start running? So what is the name for the race in which four runners each take turns passing a baton to the next person to start running? And the next question is another picture question. It's going to show you the picture of a person and the question, who is this person? Can you see that person? Who is this? Okay. And the next question is a literature question it's about books. Which children's writer created the character Tracy Beaker? Which children's writer created the character Tracy Beaker? And the next question, this is question eight. It's about art. If you mix the colors, yellow and blue, what color would you make? So if you mix the colors, yellow and blue, what color would you make? And this is question nine. Sorry, I just had a little pause there because there was a tractor going past outside. So I just stopped because it might have been a bit noisy. Question nine, true or false? Penguins can be found in the North Pole. True or false? Penguins can be found in the North Pole. So have to think about that.
And this is question 10, so we're halfway through the quiz. Complete this famous animated pair, Wallace and who? Wallace and So well done, that's halfway through. Now for the second half of the quiz. So this is question 11, and it's another literature question. What is Paddington Bear's favorite food? What is Paddington Bear's favorite food? And the next question, it's a geography question. Moscow is the capital of which country? Moscow is the capital of which country? And this next question is a music question. And I'm going to play a song. And the question is, which musical film does this song come from? Hope you enjoyed my lip sync there. So what film does that song come from? And that was question 13. And the next question, question 14, the maths question. Which of these shapes is not a 2D shape? So which of these shapes is not a 2D shape? A pentagon, square, triangular prism, rectangle and octagon. So I'll read that list again, which is not 2D. Pentagon, square, triangular prism, rectangle and octagon. And the next question, it's another nature question. Animals which eat both meat and plants are known as so animals that eat both meat and plants are known as. And the next question, which is number 16's TV question. Matt Smith, Peter Capaldi, David Tennant, Tom Baker and Jodie Whittaker have all played which time traveling character? So Matt Smith. Peter Capaldi, David Tennant, Tom Baker and Jodie Whittaker have all played which time travelling character? Question 17, it's a history question. In which famous battle did William the Conqueror defeat King Harold II of England? In which famous battle did William the Conqueror defeat King Harold II of England? And the next question is another picture question. In which city would you see this statue? In which city would you see this statue? And question 19, the penultimate, the one before the last question. It's about film. Andy Davis, Sheriff Woody, Buzz Lightyear and Mr. Potato Head are all characters in which series of films? So Andy Davis, Sheriff Woody, Buzz Lightyear and Mr. Potato Head are all characters in which series of films? And the final question for today's quiz, and this is about words. It's called fall in America. 
what is this season known as in the UK and Ireland and I think some other parts of the world as well but in America it's called fall what is it called in the UK and Ireland So I hope you had fun doing the quiz. I hope you were able to answer at least some of the questions. And as I said, it's not a competition. It's not about how much you know. And I know sometimes when you're doing a quiz, there's something that's in the back of your mind and you just can't quite remember it. And once you hear the answer, you go, oh, yes, I knew that. And so hopefully next time that will come right to the fore forefront, because that is an amazing encyclopedia that you have. It's full of facts, it's full of knowledge and, and never stop learning, never stop finding things out because that's what helps our brains grow. It is really that simple. So the more we find out and the more knowledge we have, the better understanding we have of the world and the people around us and the places around us and the past. So have a really good Friday. Enjoy the rest of your day. I know for some of you, it's half term next week. So if you're having a few days off home learning, then that's absolutely, of course, that's absolutely fine and enjoy that. I'll still be putting some things on Star Pupils, so there'll still be some activities there every day. But as I say, I know for some of you, it's it's a half term week, so it's a, a little bit of a holiday. And um, grown ups, I say, I hope you enjoyed that and hope you were able to join in and maybe answer some of the questions. So there'll be another video just following this, which will have the answers for any of the questions that you weren't sure about. So as always, I'm here and I'm available. And if you ever want to contact me and ask me any questions, then, as I say, I'm always happy to, to give the answers if I know the answer. And if not, I will try and find out. OK, bye. See you soon. Bye.